Hi, and welcome to the MYB Advanced Demonstration Series with BizPro. My name's Mark, and I'll be taking you through this overview video to show you the capabilities of MYB Advanced at a high level. Let's start by having a look at my dashboard that I see when I've just logged into the system. On this screen, you'll notice key information has been laid out and available to me based on my role. This screen can change depending on the user, and I can further rearrange it myself however I like. I'm logged in here as a salesperson so I can see key information that I want to see. I've got my top 10 customers, some sales history, some shortcuts to quick transactions, as well as a list of all of my leads that I'm working on at the moment. I can double click on one of these and it will open up another screen with the transaction record, which I can modify and then save again and come back to my main screen. This is really useful for showing me key information that I want to see at a glance, as well as providing uh, shortcuts to common transactions. Another way we can do that is by making a favourite. Over here I have a list of all of my favourite transactions which I can pick from anything within the system and that means that I'm not having to navigate through menu structures to find my screens that I'm working on all day every day. While we're on menus, let's have a look at how the system runs within a web browser. You can see here that I'm running within Chrome but you can actually run the system on any browser that you choose and that way you can run it on any device from anywhere without having to install anything on your own workstations. This is a really powerful feature and it means that no matter where you are, you can operate effectively and you get the exact same view as you do when you're at work in the office. The menu structure works the way that you would be familiar with on any website. We have a top menu at the top here where you can click on a main section, so for example, finance. When I click on that, it opens a sub-menu, which are the specific sub-areas underneath that. If I click on Accounts Payable, you can see that it opens up my work panel on the left here, where I've got access to all the transactions that I want. If I click on Bills and Adjustments, I can go ahead and create a new transaction, or I can search my previous ones. The other important thing to note here is that the system works on a concept of what's called URLs. A URL is like you'd be familiar with with any website, it's basically the, the website name www.bizpro.com.au but here it extends a bit further and it allows me to point through to a specific transaction. If we have a look at this example here, I've opened up a bill number 00678. Over in my menu bar here, it's put in a screen ID and a reference number that specifically references this bill. Now what that means I can do is I can copy that and if I open up another web page and paste that in, it's going to take me directly to that bill. Now the good thing about that is that I could copy that, paste that into an email and send that off to a colleague to say, hey what was this bill for? I need some more clarification. If they're an active user on the system and have a login, they can actually log in and paste that URL, go directly to the transaction and look at it and provide me with some feedback. It's a really great way of communicating and saving the other person from trying to find this transaction within the system. There's another way we can do that with a feature called a wiki search. Over here on any page, I can search on any term, whether it be a customer name, a supplier, an invoice, an order number, and it's going to find it. And I can search everything. I don't have to go to any particular screen. So if I put in, for example, uh, a particular order number, it will find it. So I've got here an invoice number 00706. So if I just put in 706, because it could be any part of it, it will perform a search and show me all matches. And you'll notice it looks exactly like a Google search. So it's going to show the ones with the most relevance at the top. And from there, I can drill down further to go to that particular transaction. Another great feature of MIB Advanced is the files and attachments. I have a full document management system which means I can attach files and attachments to any transaction or entity within that system. So what that means is, for example, let's say I have a customer and I want to attach a contract that we've signed to their record so it's available for everyone to see. Well, I can do that really easily. Let's come back into Organization, Customer Management and Business Accounts. I'm going to go to all records and I could obviously search for a customer up here or just pick one from the list. We'll open them up 
And over here I have a files button. I'll find this on every screen within the system. If I click on that, it allows me to simply browse and upload any sort of document and store it securely within the system. The document is then also version controlled and fully tracked. So if we needed to upload a new version of that contract, we can actually create a new version within that record and it will keep a log of when it was changed and previous versions. This feature is also really useful on transactions. Let's have a look at an example of a sales invoice. If I go to the distribution area and sales orders and open up my sales orders screen, I can create an order from here. So let's say I pick up a customer and before I continue with the order, I want to attach a copy of the customer's purchase order to us. So again, like with the previous screen, I can click on files and go ahead and browse and upload any document into here and it's stored not just against the customer this time but it's actually stored against the transaction itself so it'll be really easy to find when we search for it in the future. Being an ERP system one of the great features is the ability to extend and customize the system to suit the particular requirements of any business. An area where we often do that is through screen customizations. We have the capability of opening up and modifying any screen in any way we like. We can change the tab order of uh, things so that you can progress through a transaction the way that you like, for example. We can add extra fields or remove fields that you're not going to use to make the screens a bit simpler. And you can really easily rearrange uh, columns within transactions, for example, to suit your particular preferences. A really simple example of that is the column chooser within a transaction. Let's have a look at a sales order screen and show you how that works. I'm here on a sales order and at the bottom here I've got my document details. This is where I can go and select items that I'm going to sell. Now let's say I wanted to work differently and I want to change the way that this grid works. Well I can simply click on this button here and that will show me a list of all of the different columns that are available and I can remove all the ones that I'm not interested in and bring in ones that I am. I can rearrange them moving them up and down and then save that and the system will remember my preferences moving forward. That's a user preference, which means that different people can have different views of the screen according to what they're interested in. So someone in the warehouse can bring forward the code, the location, the quantity, etc. Whereas someone in the sales department could put more emphasis and bring forward the pricing fields and things like that.